already healing now. All right, you all, I forgot mm -hmm. to press that earlier. Forgive me. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It's, it's okay. a work system. <laughs> all righty. So, so we have a coronation to do today. Um, <laughs> 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 for Queen <laughs> Esther. So, um, <laughs> before we get started with our Bible study, we're going to go ahead and start off with that first. All righty. So, I'm just going to start off with just a quick prayer real quick, and then we'll get into it. So, Heavenly Father, hi, and we just come before you this blessed day, giving you all the glory, honor, and praise of thanksgiving, thanking you for this day, this day that you have made, we will rejoice and be glad in it, Father, hi, no matter what is going on and whatever the enemy is trying to do in all of our situation, our circumstances, Father Hyatt, we just praise you and we worship you, Father Hyatt, because you worked it all out, Father, for each and every one of us to be here today at this exact time, Father Hyatt, because you have planned it to be so, Father, you are so perfect in all your timing and all that you do, Father, all that you are revealing, Father, all that you are teaching at this hour. We just give you all the glory, honor, and praise with thanksgiving. We thank you, Father Hyatt. Thank you, Father, for bringing your kingdom here, Father, on earth and allowing us to be a part of it, Father. We thank you for your love. Yes, you thank you for it. your grace. Thank you for Amen. your kindness. Thank you, Father Hyatt, yes. for speaking to each of us, moving in our lives, Father Hyatt, since before we were even born, Father Hyatt. Thank you so much, Father, for looking after us and taking care of us and bringing us into such a time as this, Father Hyatt. We just give you all the glory, honor, and praise with thanksgiving. In the Shia Hamashik's holy mighty name, Amen. So, Amen, amen. I'm going to read off here that... Um, so we give Father Haya all the glory, honor, and praise, and we place the fiery cloak of visibility over each and every one of us, for our minds, our bodies, and our spirits, over this communication. And on this day, March 12th of 2022, with the key of David and the royal authority granted unto us, as it is written in Isaiah chapter 22, verse 22, we hereby proclaim and bear witness collectively and in unity to your kingdom coronation as Father Haya establishes his kingdom here on earth that you have now been officially coronated as Queen Esther. And at this time, if you be in agreement, you may place your head covering over your head to signify that you do indeed accept and mm -hmm. we seal everything done and said here in the blood of the lamb, Christ Yeshua HaMashiach, in his holy name, amen. So Queen Amen. 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 Queen <laughs> <Esther. laughs> Officially. <laughs> I hire all the glory, and I do humbly accept, and I just give Holy Ashaya, the king, I give him glory, and I thank him, and then I ask that Father highest will be done. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I hope you guys can hear me. I have to add <laughs> something. Can you hear yes. me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm having issues. I'm having technical issues as well. So okay. at, when Queen, I believe Queen Jordan, Queen Jade, sorry, was speaking <laughs> at 8.16 a.m., um, that was the timestamp, I received a vision of Sir Caleb uh, crowning you physically there. Oh, oh wow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Man, hallelujah. Wow. <laughs> hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 <laughs> That is That's awesome. my son, yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Our glory be to Father Hyatt. That is amazing. Amen. That's awesome. We're happy for you. Well deserved. Yes. yes. Let's see how many people we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd like to say my daughter joined us today. You say? Oh, awesome. Some today. Hi. <laughs> 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 will be listening in as well so with that we have uh 10 people able to read so we're going to be in uh ezekiel chapter 33 today so um there are 33 verses there's 10 of us so we'll do three a plea excuse me three apiece <laughs> and the last three someone else can uh, read again they can take that portion you said, uh, you said Ezekiel 33, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. 
my daughter take the last three? Is that okay? Sure. Okay. We'll just open up in a quick prayer and then uh, we'll get started. Okay. He Heavenly Father, we thank you once again, Father, for all that you are doing. We just come before you now before we get, begin to read, Father, thanking you for your word, your truth. Thank you for your laws, your commandments, Father, everything that you have written for us, Father, High, to teach us, to guide us, Father. Holy Father, Holy Ashaya, and Ruach HaKadosh, we invite you into this time and we thank you for your presence. We ask that your spirit of wisdom, revelation, truth, discernment, knowledge, understanding dwell here with us as we read in each of our hearts and our minds. Father High, that everything are written in this word, Father High, that we may ponder on it, take it back to you, Father High, that whatever is in it, may be, you reveal it to us and However you may do, Father, however you speak to each and every one of us, because you speak to us differently, Father Ahaya. We thank you for this opportunity once again to come together to read your word, Father Ahaya, to speak with our brethren, Father Ahaya. We thank you. And we just ask, Father Ahaya, that, um, that you seal everything that is done and said here with the blood of the Lamb. In Yeshua HaMashiach's holy mighty name. Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. Uh, Amen. Let's see. Queen. Rebecca Royal Regal, do you mind starting us off? I don't mind. I will start. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Again, okay, chapter 33. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the on a land, if the people of, of the land take a man of their coast, and set him for their watchman. If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Queen Warrior. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take it not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon him, his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh the warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman sees the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Woo, praise the Lord. Amen. Queen Esther, Queen Esther. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and, and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that the wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Um, yeah. uh, a priestess Lilia Yahuwah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm looking at the rainbow that's over your head right now on my phone. You've got a rainbow, a hollow, a, a halo rainbow over your head on my phone. Oh, I see it. Oh, cool. It's like what, the, <laughs> the light is hitting the camera. It's oh, like, it probably, mm -hmm. okay. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let me off because I was staring at the last paragraph at your halo. <laughs> oh, awesome. uh, a verse uh, ten, 10 is verse where 10, you yes. start. Ten through twelve. Okay, therefore. Son of Adam, speak unto the house of Yisrael. Thus he speaks, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how should we then live? Say unto them, as I as I live, says Adonai Yahuwah, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, 
but that the wicked turn from his way and live, turning, turning from your evil ways. For, for, what, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Therefore, son of Adam, say unto the children of the people, the righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of transgression. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turns from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for the righteousness in the day of his sin. Um, when I shall say <laughs> to the righteous um, that, that he shall be. surely live, if he trusts in his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all his righteousness shall not be remembered, but for his iniquity that he has committed, he shall die for it. Um, Alicia Yarros? Uh, she's not able to read at this time. Can oh, you? okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. okay, let's go to Queen um, Roshanya Oria. Again, when I say to the wicked, you shall surely die. If he turns from his sin and does what is lawful and right. If the wicked restores the pledge, gives back what he has stolen, and walks in the statutes of life without committing iniquity, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of his sins which he has committed shall be remembered against him. He has done what is lawful and right. He shall surely live. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh. Juliet, Simeon, did she already read? Hmm? Yeah. Say Juliet. Yet the children of thy people say, the way of the Lord is not equal, but as for them, their way is not equal. When the righteous turneth from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, he shall even die thereby. Um, yeah, we, well, some of them for Queen Oda. Sorry. Okay. We'll Was well, if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and right, he shall live thereby. Yet he say, the way of the Lord is not equal. O ye house of Israel, I will judge you every one after his ways. And it came to pass in the twelfth year of our captivity, in the tenth month, in the fifth day of the month that one that had escaped out of Jerusalem came unto me saying, the city is smitten. Mm. Um, uh, my twin. Okay. Now the, now the hand of the father of Baha'i ha, has, was upon me in the, in the evening. Or oh, for, or oh, for, or oh, for, Yes. Oh, for, oh, for he that was escaped come and had opened my mouth unto he came to me in the morning and my mouth was open and and I was no more dumb bound dumb dumb. Thank yeah. you. Then, then the word of the father of Ahiah came unto me, saying, Son of man, thy that die, they, they that inhabited thus, thus, waste, wasted, waste, waste of the land, waste, thank you, waste of the land of Israel, speak, saying, <laughs> Abraham, right? Abraham? Abraham. Yeah. Abraham was one, was one, and he inhabited the land, but we, but we are, are many. The land is given us for inhabitants. Therefore, say upon, unto them, thou save Ahia. Yea, eat with the blood and lift up your eyes, torch your idols and shed blood and shall, yea, 
Ye, 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 hot, pass, pot, pass, pot, pass, pass the land, pass the land. Thank you. Yes. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, who, who haven't gone yet? Um, Queen Rebecca. Oh, no, she started. She started. <laughs> Queen Ojo. Uh, uh, King, um, I don't know how to say King Luke Louis. I don't know how to say your name, brother. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I, I gotta get used to your name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Verse 26. Ye stand upon your sword, ye work abomination, and ye defile every one his neighbor's wife, and shall ye possess the land? Say thou thus unto them, thus saith the Lord Ahiah, as I live, surely they that are in the waste shall fall by the sword, and him that is in the open field will I give to the beast to be devoured. And they that be in the forts and in the caves shall die of the pestilence. For I will lay the land most desolate, and the pomp of her strength shall cease, and the mountains of Israel shall be desolate, that none shall pass through. Okay. Um, yes, I think left is me and then uh, Queen Odin's daughter. She will, she will read as well. Okay. Uh, you can pick either one of us. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I guess you can go. Hey, no problem. Then shall they know that I am the Lord when I have laid the land most desolate because of all their abominations which they have committed. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, every one to his brother saying, come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. And they came, excuse me, and they come unto thee as the people cometh and they sit before thee as my people and they hear thy words, but they will not do them for with their mouth, they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. <sighs> Oh, sorry. Did I read one too many? No, you read three. Oh, All right. No. Four from before. Oh. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Oh. I know thou art unto them as very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All righty. Um, does anyone have anything they want to share or speak on in regards to the verses and, or just the chapter in general? Uh, verse number six. Mm -hmm. But if the watchman sees the sword coming, it does not blow the trumpet, and the people are not warned, and the sword comes and takes any person from amongst them. He is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood I require at the watchman's hand. And I've just thought about like the warnings and the messages we have been getting from Odiot and Trinity Warrior from Father about speaking out, rising up. That is our job exactly. as the watchmen and the watchwomen to speak out so the people can be warned because we don't want no blood on our hands. Amen. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. And that also goes in. That was sorry. Sorry. What you were saying? No, oh, no, no. Go ahead. I'll wait. I'll, okay. I'll, I gotta I'm share sorry. I'm you. sorry. No, it's I'm okay. saying what you guys was um what sister have received about um um saving the captive. It's in there too. I mean, it's all in there. I mean, everything that's been going on this whole week and for the several weeks. That we've been speaking is all right here in this chapter. In this chapter, that is insane. This is awesome. Oh, glory be to the Father. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes, yeah, sister. <laughs> and you're on mute. No, you're on mute. You're mute. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm having issues with my head. That what I was uh, adding to. Um, to King Pi, um, Blue Flame of, of Yah was, oh, no, Mama, not right now, not right now. Um, I apologize, guys. 
is Sorry. the fact that, um, yes, it is our responsibility to set the captives free, but it is in particular uh, an assignment, a test mm -hmm. uh, for Queen Esther to also uh, see that through. And she has been seeking, um, she has been seeking um, direction from Father Ahaya. Amen. Can I, um, I need to share some because Father put it on my heart in the bathroom this morning. I had no idea we would be reading Ezekiel 33, but I, I'm going to share it here in the group setting, but I know I'm going to have to uh, make a video about it. I'll probably try to do it today. Um, Father wanted me to share a dream. And, and um, I didn't realize at the time how this would minister to everybody else. But now because of the messages that he has been giving us, it is spot on, especially because we are watchmen. And I, um, Father has placed it very heavily upon me to express that he is wanting us to shout it from the rooftop, whatever you got to do. It don't matter. You know, I know that I know that he's making well, not making us, but he is he's he's he pushing the, the, the birds out of the nest. OK, because he's given us the nourishment. He's given us the what we need. You have it already. We have it already. And I'm this is he gave it to me this morning. Spot on. He reminded me of a dream that he gave. Queen Odio can attest to this because I shared it with her. The enemy had me so oppressed over my own voice. Over my own voice. I'm constantly going to father and asking him to help me so I can just break through, help me so I can understand what I need to do. I'm talking about me because this is what I was doing. She can attest, it was so bad that when father spoke to me and told me, he gave it to her, but he told me, love rules out fear, okay? But during that time, I was asking father over and over and had been for a long time in my walk I was impeding up on my walk because father had been speaking to me and giving me things and I couldn't hear because I was constantly asking him over and over I'm steady asking him so anyway the end of the dream at the beginning of the dream the enemy had brought back some things from my past and in the dream the person that he used in, the, in that dream they were very boastful about what they were doing in the dream I didn't want to have anything to do. And I'm like, why am I even here? Then it switches to me running out of this room and I was outside and the person that was in the dream was bragging because of, you know, their presence. All right. So here I am and I'm looking out in front of me. There's murky water. I did not want to touch that water, but I didn't have no choice because I had to go through that water to get to the other side, to get to the porch where everything was dry. And it was a white house. It was a porch and it was a lifted up a little bit. So once you got on that porch, you were fine. So I had to swim through the water all the while. I'm trying to hurry up and I'm, I'm trying to hurry up because I didn't want nothing to touch me in that water. I didn't want to get dirty. I don't, and that's how I was feeling. I didn't want to get dirty. I'm thinking that I was going to get dirty because I had to get in that murky water to get to the other side. When I finally swam and got to the other side, I was sitting on a ledge and I'm calling out for help. I'm saying, I'm asking Jesus to help me. I'm asking Jesus to help me over and over. Then a classmate of mine, her name is Quinn Sandra, but Father uses her because of what her name means. It has to do with her. She always, he has always used her to represent like um, a follower of Christ. I can't remember off the top of my head now. Father, Holy Spirit, please help me remember what her name means, but it's very significant representing Father coming to me. Okay. And um, so anyway, she dives headfirst in the water. She swims over to me and she stops in front of me and she tell me to come on. I'm sitting here like, I don't want to get back in that water. I didn't want to get in the water. Only way she wanted me to get on her back so she can help me. And so finally I got in the water and I, and I, when I got on her back, she starts to help me. But next thing I know, her head is underwater and she's screaming, help. She's saying help. And I'm feeling so bad because I'm not trying. I'm my elbow is on her because I'm pushing her underneath the water, not really understand. Like I wasn't doing it on purpose. And I was feeling so bad because I'm sitting there in the water. Like, I don't want her to drown. I don't want her to drown. Her voice kept fading out and fading out, fading out. And then that was the end of the dream. Here is the interpretation. 
father gave it to me so very clearly. I was asking him over and over to tell me what to do and how to help. What do I need to do? He was already speaking to me, but because I kept, I was impeding upon myself because I kept coming to him. Not, not that you don't ask him over and over because I don't want to misconstrue what I'm saying. You do need to press into him and ask him about the things he wants you to do. But my voice, my thoughts, my mind was drowning out his voice unintentionally. He knows that my heart is to do his will, just as he knows every, you know, he knows each of our hearts and how we want to do his will. But sometimes we are unintentionally drowning out his voice when he's already speaking to us. She came to help me, but I had to get my hands dirty. I understood what that meant. I had to put my, I had to get in that water so I can help save other people. He gave me the interpretation a few days ago. I mean, not, not a few days ago, a few days after I had the dream, I had to get in that dirty water. I was not going to be harmed by that water. I was afraid of getting hurt when I got in the water or something that I couldn't see coming, snatching me, and he wasn't going to allow that to happen. He made me get off that ledge and get in the water. And when I finally oh. got in the water, I was still asking him to help me, and I'm drowning out his voice with my arm because I couldn't hear him over myself. Wow. That's very deep. That is. Wow, so he's sister. telling us, he's already given us what we need. He's already given it to us, but we're afraid. I'm I'm being bold about my speech because I I understand he is I can feel it in my heart. We're afraid. Mm-hmm. You have nothing to be afraid of. Right. If he sends you to a place, he is not going to let you it. fall. He he is so gracious in our walk. He knows what stage we're in. When we start coming out doing what we need to do for him, he's not going to let people. He didn't let people come and attack me in the beginning because he knew what I could handle. He's merciful at every stage. He is one us to do what this Ezekiel chapter, even chapter three and chapter 33. These are the same things in Ezekiel. If you go read it, it's the duties of a watchman. He wants us to get off our safe place and get out there. Whatever you got to do. We got to, we got to get our hands dirty. Step out of, you do have to get your hands dirty. You got to stop being afraid of what people are going to say and what they're going to try to do to you. I rebuke Satan. And all his wicked attacks that he, and all his antics in the mind that he's using, even causing us anything, whatever he's trying to do, if he's causing us to get offended by father's words, I rebuke him in the mighty name of Shah Mashiach. If he doesn't want us to stand boldly for father and his will, father is wanting us to put him first in everything. He knows that we have our personal lives and we got to deal with the things that we have in our life. He's going to help coast us through it. When I say put him first, what I mean is, be bold in your heart in what you do for him. He's going to make room for everything else and shift it around. I'm a living testimony. If anybody knows my life, which a lot of you don't, and I won't go explain it on on the camera, father knows. (laughs) He knows. The only way things have gotten done in my life is because of his strength. It's father, son, Holy Spirit, because I would have been dead by now, I'm telling you, because it's just too much. It's too much responsibility, but it is attainable. You can do it. You can mm-hmm. do it. I, I promise you, you can do it. But he just yeah, wants us to step true. out in faith. He said, our faith is going to push us through the door. What was it? Isaiah 40? I think it's Isaiah chapter 40, 30, 30, I think 31 or something like that. That gives you the strength to run and keep running and keep moving forward like an eagle. Yes. And just keep doing his work. And yeah, that, that's what it is. You know, That's what Father makes me do. Every other day when I go out. That's so why when you hear me outside and I'm talking to you guys, I'm like, hey, I'm doing father's work. I'm doing his business. I got to get my hands dirty. Doesn't matter what people say. You know, if they yell at you, they scream at you, ah, I, don't, I don't care. You know? you know, I got several of those before, but it doesn't hurt me. Why? Because he put it in my heart not to hinder me or not to hurt me. Just to laugh at it and to rebuke it and just keep walking and speaking his word. Just keep you know, sharing his light. But that's what he wants, for us to get dirty and to share that light in those murky places so you can shine and they can see, you know, what you're doing and how you bring your father's, um, you know, light into salvation to others to save those in captive, like whoa. Glory be to the Father. Amen.
Yeah. Oh, it's dark over there. Yeah, yeah, the tower, dark, it, right? yeah. the tower's yeah. awesome. Yeah. We're just kind of waiting around. <laughs> <laughs> Flashlight. Yeah, it'll go on for a minute then. <laughs> yeah, it'll probably come on soon. Mine. Yeah. Uh, golly, I forget where it was now. It spoke. Oh gosh, where was it? Hmm. I've lost it now. I'll just speak on limitation. Um, I might actually have had that out of order. That might have been a verse prior to 33, actually. Lamentation, boy, I tell you. Um, I, I just, I have, I, I have a heaviness, very sensitiveness, meaning um, I have to be careful with even listening to what's going on in the world because it's gotten to the point to where my lamentation is very heavy. It's just very intense, um, you know, for, for father's children and for those that are lost all around the world and um, all that's going on. So it's very difficult to um, listen to much at all. Um, I'm finding it to be a little too much for me in the sense of just staying in a lamentation state. But back to, um, you know, bringing the word to others and, 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 and letting them know this, the time that we're in, that is um for me i'm sure some of you there <laughs> have experienced this here in africa um it's 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 difficult because they don't have a clue the majority have no clue what's going on in the rest of the world they, they don't have a clue they see a little bit on the tv now in regards to ukraine and russia but they still have no clue in regards to illuminati or the cabal or the evils of the world other than their own country per se but everyone i've spoke to has no clue um about end times uh prophecy even so um i shared with someone this morning for a few hours actually about prophecy being here and you know we're at the end and they're in absolute shock don't know anything okay. about it and you know, her husband goes to one church. She goes to a Seventh-day Adventist. Adventist, actually. Neither one of them have heard of it. So we're definitely in, a, in another country. <laughs> you know, a lot of people in America kind of know about war and what war's about. And, you know, the ins and outs of, you know, the media and the, and the cruelty that's that we've been under for some time. But everyone I've spoke to here is totally just happy as can be and don't know anything about the rest of the world so um, and i have been warned also that my head could be chopped off but um you know i will come to that to you know to a point of saying you know hey you know if that's what you know needs to happen in order for me to you know share with you what father's asking me to share with you then we'll 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 face that when it comes so i just wanted to add live a little bit on you know, the Ezekiel 33 and where we're at over here, it's in America, um, you know, I was walking the streets and under the bridge and, uh, you know, I, I did a hands-on ministry there and it was easier to minister to people there, whether, you know, not that they all took heed to it, but it was easier because they knew the ways of America. They knew, you know, the, 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 the ins and outs of the presidency and, you know, all the things that they've done to us and this and that. A lot of people were educated, not all of them acted on it. But over here, I, it's just a really hard conversation to strike up. So uh, prayers, please, from everyone. Um, we're, not, we're, we're waiting on Father's instructions right now as to what to do, you know, over here. And we're patiently waiting. Hallelujah. All glory belongs to Father. Amen. 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 Yep. Awesome. All right, you guys, uh, does anyone have, well, anything at least about the chapter, anything else they want to share? If not, if they have a song to share, you can let me know that as well so we can do some worship before we um, close out for the day. Let's see. Any songs, anyone? Anything? <laughs> <laughs> um.
Wait, I, I want to say something. I want to thank the father for giving me the courage to put up my video. I yeah. was scared. I was scared. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> great. But today, yesterday, I saw there were 50 views. I was jumping up and down. Oh, yes. I get it, Father. Hallelujah. I get it. I get it. <laughs> so amen, thank amen. you, Father. Thank Can you. I encourage you? I just yes. want to encourage you and anybody, not, ju not just you, but just anybody. When you begin to use your voice, it don't matter, you know, because it, do it doesn't matter. Let's father know our hearts. And I like, don't take this no kind of way. When you said 50 views, that's 50 people that have heard your voice. It don't matter if it's 50 or 300 or 2000. Somebody has heard you. And it, and, and, and it might be one person out of that 50 to take that and go share with somebody else mm -hmm. it's it that is planting a seed and so I mean it takes it, it's scary in the beginning it is and I'm not gonna lie it's very intimidating in the beginning because you you don't know what to expect <laughs> but the more you father has been putting it on my heart for the past week since he's been giving us these messages the more you put into practice your gifts the more comfortable you're going to be with using them if exactly. you know the the more you put it into practice the more he's going he's going to groom you he's going to show you how to how to do it and when to do it and you know he he's going to coast us but it, it's scary at first but I'm I'm just encouraging everybody just 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 <laughs> just let him you like they say in in the church let him use you. Let him <laughs> use you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry, you guys, searching for something to play. But well, I mean, I guess we don't always have to. Honestly, we could just end yeah. in some prayers, you know, some worship prayers and just give worship like that. And we'll mm -hmm. end with our Father. It doesn't always have to be, you know, playing and structured. So um, yeah. at least before we get out of here, let's go ahead and get some prayers in. Let's go ahead and worship Father. So, you know, if we happy, we alive, we breathing, we got breath in our lungs, we can praise and worship. So we'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I hire your holy Amen. name. We just come before you, thanking you for this yes, blessed Father. day. Thank you, Father, for all that you are doing in our lives. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Thank yes, you. Father, thank you. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Father Haya, for moving. Thank you, Father Haya, for getting us out of the boat onto the water. Thank you, Father Haya. Thank you, for yes. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Father Haya, that yes. this is the time, Heavenly Father, that we yes. can scream and shout from the rooftops that uh, yes. your son, Holy Ashaya, how much is coming back, Father Haya. We can see all the prophecies being laid out and unfolded. Father, thank you for waking yeah. us up before thank time. You. Thank you for choosing yes. us to be the ones, yes. Father Haya, to go speak. Thank you, Father Haya, that we don't have to find Hallelujah. out what's going on that we found out before, Father. So thank you for that, Father, for letting us know. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to be the one in our family, to warn the family, Father, to warn. Yes, thank you, Father. Yes, yes. It does. We didn't have to wake up in the consequence. We could be there before time. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your grace, your mercy, Heavenly Father. We just praise you and worship you and glorify your holy name. Heavenly Yahweh, we praise you for being so good. Thank you, Father, for loving us and everlasting love. Father, I thank you, Father, for showing the plans that you have for us, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father, for your sending your son, Yashaya Hamashia, Father, I thank you for being obedient unto death, Father, I thank you for your sign for being obedient unto death, Father, I thank you for your words, thank you that in your word we can go and find our specific situation, our circumstances, we can see how it played out, Father, I thank you, Father, I for sending those before us, Father, I thank you so much, Father, I thank you for those in our lives, for the counting. Hallelujah, <laughs> 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 <laugh
Father, from the world. We come to see we're living our life. We know we're living our life before, Father, I, but you woke us up and showed us life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for changing our mindset. Thank you for transforming our hearts. Thank you for giving us the trial, Father, I, thank you for right now in the abundance that you are here with us there. You step, Father, I, the words of that that they see four men walking, one loose in the fireway. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for being right next with us. In the fire, yes. in the fire, yes. thank you, so Heavenly Father. That no matter what goes thank down, you. Father Hiya, that we will not be burned by that fire, we will not be sent, and we will come out as pure gold. Yes. Father, yes. Thank, you thank you for the healing yes. process, thank you for all that you are doing. Father, you are so good and kind and merciful because we woke up this morning with a roof over our head. We woke up this morning, we can walk, we can talk, we can breathe, and we can sing. Father Hiya, everything is so good. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We praise you, Lord God, for being who you are. Thank you for the Thank you, Father, that we can trust in you as solid foundation that no matter what comes up against us, Father, how we are against you, there are more in our feelings than there are against us, Father, how you have a greater need that is in us than you are in the world. So we thank you and we praise you, Heavenly Father, for the tools and the weapons you have provided us. Thank you, Father, that we know that you put on that full armor in Ephesians 6. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that we know that we are among you, that you would hear our voice, Father, how we thank you, Father, that you we, we may be found of you, you may be found of us, but we seek you with our whole heart. Yes. Heavenly Father, thank you that you come and meet us where we yes. are, Heavenly Father. Thank you that we didn't have to get it together yes. before yes. we came to you. You met us at yes. the place where we were, Father yes. High, and you helped us from there because yes. you know, Father High, the plans that you got for us. We praise you, yes. Heavenly Father High, yes. for being who you are. Yes. Thank you, Father, yes. for your yes. love. Yes. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your grace. Yes. Thank you for your mercy, your compassion. Yes. Thank you for your provision. Yes. Thank you for protecting yes. and providing. Yes. We didn't see a way yes. we understood, Father High, that we just had to lean on you yes. and trust you. Amen. Father, yes. Father, yes. Father, yes. Father, yes. What we could into, Father yes. High, we yes. know yes. we can remember yes. from past yes. experiences, yes. Father High, that you brought us through. Yes. And so by yes. us knowing that you brought yes. us through, Father High, we can give yes. comfort to somebody else yes. from our situation. Yes. Thank you, Father High. Yes. So we yes. bring them yes. through, Father. So we thank you, yes. Heavenly High, that no matter what is going on, no matter what the world is doing, no matter what the people are doing, Father High, that we can come to you, Father, and just worship with you and thank you, Father High. Praise the Lord. Yes, of course. Um Queen Raquel, I mean, oh, yeah, Queen Odom, I'm so sorry. I saw your message come through because they have a song and Father put something on my heart. I I, I gotta speak it. I'm so sorry. Um whenever you began to pray actually when you asked if we had a song the song it, it's called I Trust You and I couldn't remember the lyrics so I went and looked it up and I, I'm looking at it right now but Father wants you when he in your heart the song says I trust you when you ask yourself do you trust Father can you say that confidently that I trust you I trust you. Anybody. I trust I you. Trust. I trust you. He wants I you to say you. it, literally. He wants you to say I it. Trust I, I'm, I'm I trust you. Father. I can, trust you, Father in heaven higher. I trust they you with can all my heart. Still sing their song. I just, but I have to do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sing this song as well. So we'll have two songs. We got That's time. fine. We got two songs today. <laughs> That's, right. That's fine. And look at how he done blessed it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> so he wants you to, the, to, to the, I'm telling you because I can feel it so strong. My gifts are growing. Like when I, I can feel things more sensitive and it's just, I know it's father, but when we move in faith, he will increase your sensitivity to your gifts. And he wants you to declare that in your heart that I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. I felt this so strong. Can I say something to confirm that? Um, yes. I'm sorry to interrupt, but um, I'm led to speak this out. Father has been dealing with me with trust. This week, I have spoken to Many people, more than I have ever spoken to people, <laughs> strangers, have I been terrified? Yes, because <laughs> I don't, I'm not that type of person. I'm not outgoing type of person. Um, but whatever he tells me to do, I do it. And he's been <laughs> telling me this whole week, trust me, trust me, trust me. 
And so that's a confirmation for me even more. I mean, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not a, on YouTube yet or anything like that. He hasn't moved me to that yet. But in my job, I'm still in the B system, but I'm still doing his work. And I'm, I'm trying to find my way in this life. Father, how do I work and do all of this? But it's like the people are coming to me Hallelujah. sometimes. And it's sometimes mm-hmm. that I'm, he's like, go talk to this person. I'm like, I got to go talk to this person. But I just go and do it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, you talk about uncomfortable, but at the same yeah. time, he has been telling me being uncomfortable is growth. And, he, and he's, he's been telling me just the other day um, as well, after I got off the phone with Queen Esther, he's telling me this is training for me for what's to come. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Because at first I was looking for, you know, something, am I supposed to be on YouTube? Am I supposed to be which, which way to work? No. <laughs> you know, because <sighs> it's, it's, it can be confusing. It can be like, where do you start? And he has started Hallelujah. me. He started me before time, but it's growing and I'm seeing it now. And at first I didn't understand, but he kept telling me this week, just trust me. Cause I didn't really want to speak to them. I'm just being honest. I'm just being transparent. I didn't want to speak to nobody. No, I didn't know him. So he was like, go talk to him. He was like, go talk to him. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll go talk to him. But then once I did, <laughs> it's it's like a breath of fresh air. It's like, okay, yes. I see, I see why yes. you had me do this. Yes. I see the yes. fruit now. I, I get it, you know, because hallelujah. Some people nope. get it, and then you have those that don't, but he was telling me to be like Paul when they don't get it, dust yourself dust off and keep on going. Mm. So mm. I'm learning. And I'm I'm taking it little by little, but I'm learning. And but the trust part, he just had me speaking, and I really wasn't trying to speak this much. But hey, <laughs> Holy Spirit, Amen, sister. Amen. Yeah. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, can we? Can I also just um, share with you? Because <laughs> sorry, I have to share with no, you. No, that's fine. That's it's good. Just what you talk about uh, trust, our Queen Esther. So it's um, yesterday we went to view a home, um, and it was in late. Uh, the second one's late in the afternoon, and on the way back, the, the satna brought us off the A road to a B road, and it was dark. Um, we're in the country. There was no lights on the road. We went over mountains, gully of mountains, and it was raining. It started to pound. The children were scared. I'll be honest. I was like, where are you taking me? This sat now that you could see a dip down the road and the water just coming off the mountains. And I'm like, Oh Lord, you know, it, it was it was a moment we've never drove. And then my sister here, Priestess Juliet, I said, let's say a prayer. I'm so glad she found the prayer, the longest prayer ever. I would have complained beforehand, but it got us through this whole time. But we were going through trusting in the most high by just the prayers that she came over when we took when we we prayed over like the spirit of fear. I I didn't know I had it, but then when she finished that prayer, I realized I did have a bit of fear and my warning light on my car came on saying there's a problem with the sensors mm-hmm. and the warning light came on. I'm like, Lord, please make sure. Because if we broke down, we could not tell the AA, the breakdown service where we were because we were literally in a mountain, a, a, a reserve. I don't know where we were. And then when we got out of that, then there was the fog and that the enemy was just coming, well, weather was just coming at us we were just using the key of david everything i only wanted to just share that by the time we finished that prayer and we were singing songs it all came bright again well not bright but it you know the the rain had had stopped the the fog the fog cleared and it's like oh lord so while you're talking today about trusting can you say do you trust the lord i have to say we drove yes, we through trust. this trusting of the lord last night <laughs> mm-hmm. and Hallelujah. this day all of us are, yes lord we trust, we trust in you, you. definitely yes. so i just wanted to share that it was just an Amen. awesome the most worst Amen. driving experience <laughs> ever but here we are singing and praising the most high yes well I just want to sing the song because I got to do it. I'm sorry because he, uh, yeah, I got to do it. But you'll understand why when you hear the words. And y'all, and when I finish, y'all can just jump right in and sing yours. It says, mm-hmm. even mm-hmm. though I can't see 
and I can't feel your touch. Oh, I, I will trust you, Lord, how I love you so much. Though my nights may seem long and I feel so alone, Lord, my trust is in you. I surrender to you. So many painful thoughts travel through my mind. And I wonder how I will make it through this time. But I trust you. Lord, it's not easy. Sometimes the pain in my life makes you seem far away. But I'll trust you. I need to know you're here through the tears and the pain, through the heartache and rain. I trust you. Everything that I see tells me not to believe, but I trust you, Lord. You have never failed me. My past still controls me. Will this hurt ever leave? I can only trust you. No one else like you do. So many painful thoughts travel through my mind. And I wonder how I will make it through this time. But I'll trust you. Lord, it's not easy. Sometimes the pain in my life makes you seem far away, but I'll trust you. I need to know you're here through the tears and the pain, through the heartache and rain, through the tears and the pain, through the heartache and rain. I will, I must, oh, sorry, I can, <laughs> I will, I must trust you, I can, I will, I must trust you. I can, I will, I must trust you. I can, I will, I must trust you. I will trust you. I will trust you i will trust you i will trust you yah will make a way 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 i'll trust you even though it's not easy we gotta trust him. amen Amen, sister. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, glory be to the Father. Hallelujah. If you have that song um, recorded, you could just send it my way. <laughs> my way. I, I could send you the real song. <laughs> oh, good. Please, please awesome, do. Awesome. And also, sister, when you started it. singing, it was 11 11 at the time you started good. singing. It. Hallelujah. Amen. I took a picture of it. <laughs> I had to okay. share it in a group. Well, this this song my daughter chose. Um, it's uh, just a hymn, my hymn book uh, called Redeemed. 
Uh, it's one of her favorite songs, yeah? Okay, you ready? Okay. One, two, three. Redeem how I love to proclaim it. Redeem by the blood of the Lamb. Redeem for his infinite mercy, his child and forever I am. Redeem, redeem. Redeem now, I love to proclaim it, his child and forever I am. I think of my blessed Redeemer, I think of him all the day long. I sing for, I cannot be silent, his love is a theme of my song. Redeem how I love to proclaim it, his child and forever I am. I know I shall see in his beauty the King, in whose Lord I delight. O loving, God of my footsteps and give of me songs in the night. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Hallelujah. Thank you. King Haim, will you bring us to our Father, please? Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven. Who art in heaven. heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. In earth as it is in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give Give us us this day our our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our debts. Forgive us our debts. We forgive our debtors. As we forgive our our debtors. debtors. Lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. temptation. But but deliver us from the evil one. But deliver deliver us us from from the evil evil one. one. For thine is the kingdom. For For thine is the the kingdom. 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 And the power. And, and the, the power, power and the glory and, and the glory forever and ever forever forever and ever, forever and ever, ever. ever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was Amen. it again. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I just yeah. noticed that, brother. It's dark now. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. You have no shoes on, buddy. Oh, <laughs> <my child. laughs> okay. Hey, everyone. Right, thank you guys. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.